in this video we will see the famous coin change problem so uh, the problem statement is that you are given coins of three denominations so these may be uh, one cent two cent and five cents so you have just three denominations available and you have to make seven cents out of that so how can can you make that and you have an infinite supply of all these coins so you can pick one coin multiple number of times so for example here we have seven so we can use one 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 so this is one possibility using just one cent coins then I can have five ones and one two cent coin then we can have two ones and one five cent coin or we can have two 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 and one this is also seven then we have two two and one 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 and uh, we can have uh, one two 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 three two we cannot have four two so and we can have 5 and 2 so this also makes 7 so we have these 6 ways of making 7 cent using these 3 denominations of coin so how can we solve this problem so we have we can break it into smaller pieces like we are given the required value and the array of coins 1 2 and 5 so this is the final problem that we have to solve so we can break it into two pieces so one way would be that I don't include this last coin so 5 is the last coin so I just exclude that so in my solution does not contain this so for example 5 is present in this and this and the others force 5 is not present so this is minus 5 that is we exclude 5 so our problem is reduced to 7 and this 1 2 so this is the same problem it's just we put the condition that we will not include 5 and in the other case we include at least one coin of 5 cent so if we include at least one coin of 5 then this we know that one of the coins is 5 we have to find the remaining uh, possibilities so our problem reduces from 7 to 2 because 1 we have taken 5 so now remaining is 2 and we can use the same set of coins here we had ex exclusively said that we will exclude 5 we will not add 5 so this uh, right branch will correspond to these solutions and this uh, left branch will correspond to these four solutions now we have to break it further and let's uh, define also the base case like if n is equal to 0 then count is equal to 1 because if we have to make 0 we will do it in just one way by by not choosing any of the coins this is the only possibility so if n is 0 we will say count is 1 and if n is greater than 0 but this coin array is empty then in this case solution would be 0 because there is no way to make n without any coins so we have defined our base cases now let's break this problem further so one would be with, with excluding this last coin so we exclude this two so we have the same problem but we have to use just one and in the other case we choose at least one coin of two so our problem reduces to five and one two
and now we will exclude this last coin 5 so our problem will be 2 using 1 and 2 and if we we cannot include 5 because here 2 is less than 5 so this branch will not exist so it, it will have just one branch and now if we have just one coin or uh, one cent coins either we can go further and break it into two like seven with empty and six with one or we can uh, terminate here so we can add to our base case that if uh, there is only one coin then count n should be n because if there is only one cent coin and we have to make 5 or 6 or 7 then there is only one coin so we will take it multiple number of times and if it's uh, a factor of this n then we will have one solution otherwise 0 so we could have a stop there also so here 7 or with empty this will have 0 so this will return 0 this will in turn call 5 1 then 1 ultimately it will call 1 1 and will start returning 1 so we can stop here itself that if we reach this case that there is only one coin then we will return 1 so this has one way and now we have this 5 1 2 so we will exclude 2 then it will reduce to 5 1 and including 2 it will become 3 1 2 and now this will return 1 because again we have reached the base case and now for this we will exclude 2 so we will have 3 1 and once we in include 2 we will get 1 1 2 so this will again have solution 1 and we can break it further we exclude 2 then we will have 1 and 1 and we cannot include 2 because 2 is more than 1 so this branch will not be there so this has also 1 so this is 1 so it will return 1 and these both will return 1 so this has 2 now this will return 2 this will return 1 so this has this part has 3 solutions now this will return 3 and this part will return 1 so this will have solution of 4 and now solve the, this side first so if we include 2 we will get 0 comma 1 2 and if we exclude 2 we get 2 comma 1 so this has solution of 1 and this this has also solution of 1 because we have to make 0 so we will not choose anything so this returns 1 this returns 1 so this has 2 and it has only one branch because this was not possible so it returns 2 here and it returns 0 so this this part has 2 and this part has 4 so it, it will return 4 this will return 2 and ultimately this will have 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 so including 5 we had 2 solutions excluding 5 we had 4 solutions here you can see that excluding 5 we have 4 solutions and including 5 we had 2 solutions so this exactly matches with whatever we had done manually so this is uh, the dynamic programming approach and let's uh, make a table out of it so that it's even more clear that how we will approach this problem So on one axis 
we can take uh, the values coins so our coins are 0 1 2 these are indices and uh, at 0 we have uh, coin number 1 at 1 we have 2 and at 2 have we have coin of denomination 5 So this is coins. Now we have the values of n. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So if we have to make 0, then there is only one possibility and if we have just one coin of one cent then also there is only one way repeat this coin as many times as we want so we filled this part now let's fill this this part so here we have to make one using coins one and two so this index means that you can use coins till this point that is zero and one and you have to make one so here one will branch into two parts one including this last coin two and the other part excluding two so excluding two it will reduce to one 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 case that is this part and this possibly this is 0 because uh, this branch does not exist we cannot include 2 so 1 plus 1 1 plus 0 is 1 and now we have to make 1 using 5 again this will be 1 because second branch will not exist so it will reduce to 1 using 1 2 and it will ultimately reduce to 1 using 1 now for 2 so 2 2 so we have to make 2 2 this return 2 so its value will be 2 and then 2 3 so some of the parts was not used so this was not a complete binary tree so we can similarly fill for any value like if we, we have to fill here 75 we just calculated here its value is 6 and where did we get that from we got that from 7 2 whose value was 4 so this part is 4 now 5 2 3 was 2 2 3 is 2 then 5 2 is 3 so for calculating other values also we can just break it into two branches one with excluding the last coin and one with including the last coin so now uh, let's write the code for this so filling this table would mean uh, resolving this uh, this uh, recursive tree so you can try out and find other values so let's first look at the code So the first parameter would be the array of coins, then the size of that array and finally the value that we want to make. So we will keep one 2D array and let's name it count. So it's n plus 1 and c. So one extra value because we have to take into account that 0 case also. 
so this zero case so that's why one extra now we will take two loops corresponding to n and c So if any of i or j is 0, then we will simply populate 0 because if this first row and first column is 0, so if i is 0, then also everything is 0, if j is 0, then also everything is 0, else we will have two values, one including c. So we include only when this i so here inside this loop so n is the final value that we want but inside this loop i is the value that we want to generate using coins from indices 0 to j so if i minus coin at index j is greater than equal to 0 then only we will include then include that coin else return 0 add 0 to that and the second would be excluding that last coin so when we exclude last coin what we do so this was our initial problem in this case i would be 7 and j would be 0 1 2 because it has three elements this array so j would be 2 so so it, if we exclude that this problem reduces to same i but this j decreases by 1 we exclude that last coin so in that case we will have simply count i will remain same j minus 1 and finally add these values and populate it in count array and then we can return the last element last value inside the count array at position n and c minus 1 and let's uh, run this on the same example that we had discussed so coins array was 1 2 and 5 and then and finally we will pass 7 because we wanted to make 7 out of those coins so this should print 6 because our answer was 6 for the same example and here it prints 6 so this program is working correctly so it's a very small program it's the same concept whatever we had seen in, in the explanation so it's very important to understand this picture how it's breaking the problem into two sub problems one including the last coin and one excluding the last coin and this is the main theme here 
so thanks for watching and give your valuable feedbacks in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe my channel